It's the most important piece of armor you can have. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And yeah, today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the armor of God. And, and I wanted to talk to you about the helmet of salvation, the most important piece of the armor of God that you can have. And, you know, soldiers back in the day, you know, in the times where they would wear, you know, armor to, to go fight in, in battles, if they could pick just one piece of armor, they would always pick the helmet. It really is so important to protect your noggin. That's why we wear helmets when we go, you know, rollerblading or, or skateboarding or riding our bikes. Because you got to protect your head. You know, it really, really is important to wear your helmet when you're doing stuff like that. Because there was this lady in my neighborhood, actually, well, she was visiting from out of town. She was visiting some people in my neighborhood, and she decided she was going to go rollerblading. She put on knee guards and, and elbow pads, and she even had those those kind of cool, bendy little wrist guard things, but she did not have a helmet on. And so it should have been just, you know, a fun day of rollerblading turned into, honestly, something really tragic. All because she didn't have her helmet on. Helmets are very important. And that includes in the armor of God. You know, it's interesting because all the other armor of God kind of has to do with how you live, right? You know, through your own effort, you can make your armor stronger. But that's not the case with the helmet of salvation. And again, helmet of salvation is a cool name, but it's not talking about, you know, cardboard armor or like a bike helmet or, or steel or iron or bronze or anything like that. Now, in the Bible, when it says the helmet of salvation, it's talking about your salvation. Being saved is like wearing a helmet into battle. It's so important. And being saved from your sins is not something that happens because of your effort, right? We can be saved from our sins because of what Jesus Christ did for us. John 3.16 says that whoever believes in him, talking about Jesus, whoever believes in Jesus will not perish but have eternal life. The consequences for sin is death eternal death and eternity apart from God. So even if you just sin one time in your whole life, it still separates you from God. But because of Jesus' sacrifice, we can be saved from our sins. If you believe in Jesus Christ and believe that he will save you from your sins, he will. But you know, it's really sad because the truth is, is there are a lot of people out there who have pretty much the full armor of God, but they're missing the most important thing. You know, we've talked about the other parts of the of the armor of God and and all of those other parts can be strengthened by how you live. If you are speaking the truth, if you're being honest, then you're going to have the belt of truth. If you're doing what's right, you're going to have the breastplate of righteousness. If you're ready to tell people about Jesus Christ, you can have your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. If you hold fast to what you believe, you can have the shield of faith. But listen, let me tell you something really important. You can have all those things and still not be saved. You can be all armored up but lacking the most important thing that you need in this spiritual battle. Not just in this spiritual battle, the most important thing that you need, period. You need to be saved. And it's not through your own effort that you can be saved. It is only through belief in Jesus Christ. There are people who go to church every single Sunday. People who give to the poor, people who read their Bibles every day, and yet they're still not saved because they think that their salvation is dependent on them, not dependent on Jesus Christ. And I'm not saying that all that other stuff isn't important. It really is. It's super important. But if you've done all this good stuff your whole life and you get to the end of your life and you never believed in Jesus Christ to save you, but you just tried to save yourself, then you're in for a really terrible surprise. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would put on the helmet of salvation, that you would believe in Jesus Christ to save you from your sins. If you think that you're without sin, you're deceiving yourself. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It's not enough to be a, you know, quote unquote good person. Nobody gets into heaven for being a good person because there only was one good person and that was Jesus Christ, just one. Every single one of us has sinned. Even the best person you've ever met needs forgiveness and needs Jesus to save them. So I really do hope that you will put your trust in Jesus Christ and believe on him to save you from your sins because it's the most important thing you could ever do in your whole life. Put on the helmet of salvation.